Hey what's up guys, uh, today I decided to make a quick guide on how to build your own defensive SG or corner SG. Uh, I decided to make this guide since I think corner SG is one of the most underrated position in the game and I feel like when it comes to having a guard in the corner people often go with either a PG or a block DG and uh, I feel like uh, SG is often overlooked uh, so I decided to make a quick guide to show you how to build your own. So let's get started. Um, just before we get started, I just want to mention that last season I finished with 92% win rate along with 2.24 block average and 1.5 steal average. So when it comes to corner SG, I have a lot of experience in it. So that's why I decided to make this guide. Starting off with building a corner SG, one of the many aspects you players tend to overlook are cards. Cards are your identity. It is who you are and without cards, you are not a baller. Corner cards for an SG vary depending on your playstyle. If you're more of a blocker, you would go with SP6. If you're more of a stealer, you'd go with SP4. And if you want to shoot more, you'd go with SP5. In my case, I decided to go with SP6. For my offense card, in any position for a corner, you want to go with as many 3 point suck as you can get. So on my card, I managed to get 2 3 point success and 1 3 point attribute. On my defense card, I managed to get block, running speed and block, which I think is perfect since it allows me to have a lot of block and be quick. On my talent, I managed to get running speed, movement speed and block, which makes me really fast and makes me have a lot of block, which allows me to defend any swing SF, swing SG, dash PGs or even some bigs if they try to dunk on me. Uh, you could also go with a hybrid route having more of like having sp6 with some steel attributes i'll show you some cards uh from one of my friends kim which went with more of that route as you can see he, he has uh two three point success on the offense card and two three point success on the talent with a steel attribute on his defense card he managed to get steel steel motion and block range manual block range which allows him to have a decent amount of block and a decent amount of steel, which makes him a threat all around on defense. Now that we took a look at my cards, let's take a look at my attributes. I quickly want to mention that I'm a power type SG. For my attributes, as a corner SG, you want to prioritize 3 point shot, block and speed. The reason why you want to um, prioritize speed is because you want to be able to follow any dash SGs by your own, and you want to be able to quickly rotate if you have to to any guards or any bigs that might be open so that's why you want as much speed as possible you also want uh, as much block as possible so you can block any swing sf any swing sg any big or any dash pgs that tries to lay up on you so that's why you want to you want to have as much block as possible if you go strictly with block on your cards uh i wouldn't uh, put that many points on steals since the mastery gives a lot of steals by its own So I would just put five points on it for the rest. Just try to even it out or uh, Try to prioritize speed block and three point don't bother putting points in anything else Now that we took a look at my attributes. Let's take a look at my skills. First of all uh, I went with Q&E quick jumper SP stam uh, middle shot which is not really needed but can be real nice if you combine it with pull up jumper or something like that I have SP running 3 uh, manual block which is really important uh, fade away which allows you to run back for 3 sometimes after a loose ball or something like that I went with double clutch uh, SP drive intercept dive uh, SP intercept uh, back roll turn uh, VD and uh, manual layup. The reason I have VD manual layup and double clutch is that sometimes I like to drive in and go for a short VD. Uh, with that combination, sometimes I can fake the VD and pass it out with Kel Pass, which I'll go over in the Mastered. Uh, you, there's also other skills you can go with. You can go with non stop pass if you have uh, more buff slots or VIP and stuff like that. You can go with non-stop, uh, you could go with alley-oop as well. Uh, you can also go with pull-up jumper, which can 
it can be real clutch at the end of the game. Like, let's say there's two seconds left and they, they don't know you have uh, pull up. You can just pull up in their face and they'll be shook that a corner has pull up. Uh, you can al also go with tripping and prevention, which is decent if you go in, if you drive in and you get faced up. And you can go with SP pass. For the mastery, you obviously go with the third one, which gives you plus 30 still and plus 18 still motion, which is really clutch. It also gives you the skill short intercept, which is one of the most underrated skill in the game. If you learn how to use it and master it, you can be really deadly with it and people won't expect it. If you guys want a more advanced tutorial on Corner SG, I can show you guys some example on how to use it and in, in which situation you should use it. For the tree, I decided to go with the first block upgrade, which gives me plus 4 block but minus 4 3 point shot. I also went with the post block expert, which gives me more speed while chasing, uh, which allows me to block any dash PGs that tries to lay up on me or VD on me. On this section, you can go with either um, intercept range, dive range, or the last one, is, which is quick jumper success. I decided to go with this one, but you can go with either three of them. And on the last, uh, the last part of the tree, you obviously go with kill pass. All the other options are useless, and I don't think they're worth taking a look at. Kill pass allows you to also uh, drive in and pass it out to your teammates for a quick jumper. You can get a lot of threes with it if you drive in from the side and pass it to the other corner on the other side. Uh, they often get open and you can get an easy three pointer. Plus, the kill pass on this tree uh, doesn't affect your stat at all. You actually gain mid, mid shot success, kill pass speed, but and you only lose minus three uh, three pointer uh, three point success which is really nothing compared to all the other trees that have kill pass. So that's pretty much it for the tutorial guys. If you guys want a more in-depth tutorial on how to corner SG um, or how to use short intercept, uh, I can make one, just let me know. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll catch you guys on the courts. See ya.